One. Hello, and happy part two yeah. of our holiday themed episode to all of our friends, past, present, and future. Welcome to Legends Die Live, a DD stream brought to you by a group of good friends. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> what? Fuck off. <laughs> <We're great friends. laughs> I'm your best friend. Yes. Uh, I'm Mike D, and I'm the dungeon master, which means I'm in charge of all the world building and character herding. And these are my players, yes. the cats. We got cats. Yes. Uh, we play typically on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check us out live. If you can't check us out live, our videos will be up on YouTube. Uh, a few days thereafter. You can catch us on social media at all the places at Legends Die Live. Mechanically speaking, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Styli stylistically, we do stay pretty close to the rules, yeah, but we do that. bend, break, and homebrew them as well. So if that type of pantomiming is your thing, please check out our doobly-doo down below. Once again, thank you to Sirenscape for providing music and to our artists for providing us with the logo as well as the headshots that make us who we are. And my fine goatee. And the fine goatee. And as another quick reminder that we are down a dwarf and a half elf, but we are up a halfling in person, yes. which we're so happy to have. Down 1.5 people. Quick. <laughs> yes. So with that, I think we can jump into Part two of our holiday themed Yay. episode. Yes. It's going to be great. Let's do this. Get Why that was cut out. <laughs> yeah. What can I... I forget where I'm here. Me too. And... Go. We're back. Hello. And the happy music. Yes. So, we are jovial. I want to do a jig. Oh yes, please. I'd Previously, like to the on the first part of our holiday-themed uh, series of episodes, our characters... Holiday. Yeah, we holiday hard. Holiday? Yes. Holiday. And they are now on the holidays at the moment. We holy did. They previously uh, spent some time helping their uh, sponsors with their with their specific tasks. Uh, they got to know some of the townsfolk better. Um, they helped in the preparations for the 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 festivities. That were involved in the celebration of Conquest. It's a day in uh, Elvish history that signifies their passage from the Feywild into the material realm. Um, during this time, they partook of the local festivities, indulging in everything from caroling to uh, decorating 
to creating paper mache masks that they slowly un- were unveiled throughout the night, as well as different um, outfits. This was so much fun. They also ran, uh, Felix also ran into an old ally, one who revealed that she was imprisoned because of a tale within the library that apparently sullies the name and heritage of the Emerald Isles, the hometown. Not the hometown, but the current, uh, the current site of Felix's occupation. Um, but you guys are currently Perception. partaking of the festivities. A couple of performances have just wrapped up, and you're all now sitting um, in the top of the tree, or, or the near top of the tree, at a portion where the trunk of the tree spirals outward like a crown, forming a, a nice base, uh, an impromptu, naturalistic amphitheater of sorts. There are several people that you recognize mingling about. D- Diveris has finished his. Uh, performance and is off in the corner doing his old thing. Um, Felix has gotten off stage and he's um, trying to shoo away all his various fans that oh, he no, just <laughs> met. <laughs> he's being Asking hounded it. and inundated by uh, the fans who are just extremely taken aback by the halfling and his 38 charm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was something else. There are several booths set up. There's people walking around with food and drink. And all the meantime, as you guys are milling about, there is a pretty steady and heavy snowfall. It's coming down in the middle of this night. And what you guys realize is that the snowfall is uh, unnatural in origin. The, The climate is far too hot. For there to be snow, mm. so there is some okay. arcane wizardry, wizardry happening beneath the surface. That is dope shit. So you guys are just milling about. Moment. Mm-hmm. Thing you'd like to do? I like to chuck a snowball at him. Okay. Make an attack roll. Cool. With a net twenty. Net <laughs> twenty. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> So that hits me. <laughs> Pony, you're sitting there. What are you doing? I'm probably watching all the paper dragons fall and just being enchanted by this. Right in the side of the head, there's a giant snowball that just hits you. Some of the snow gets into your ear and it feels kind of cool. Um, it didn't really hurt. It was just surprising and sudden and abrupt. I look over. Do I notice who did it? Deception check. Hey, whistle right now. <laughs> Insight. Make a deception check. Yeah, I don't. You win. Super you win. That's cocked. 27. Four. <laughs> so no. <laughs> you have no idea where this thing came from. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my tail and kind of slosh a bunch of <laughs> snow over to that general direction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A few people walk by, they don't get, like, sprayed with it, but they, they see it, and they, they maneuver out of the way yeah. of it. Just go, hmm. go back to looking at the thing's fall. <laughs> I hit him another one. <laughs> Make another attack roll. With advantage. Okay. Uh, 17. That's my AC, it hits. <laughs> you want to shield this? <laughs> <laughs> no. I gave, I didn't think it was going to happen again. This time, you, you turn around. Back of the head. Turn around. What is happening? <laughs> Who is doing this? I want to see if I figure it out again. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's a five. Yeah, you can beat a five. <laughs> <laughs> I think your By passive default. beats a five. Yeah. yeah. Um, so no. Okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if there's vendors or something. There are plenty of, of vendors and booths and, and, and whatnot. Anyone selling studded leather armor that would fit our quilla? Not at the moment. Okay. Not in the middle of the concrescence festivities. But in that case, I'm getting booze. <laughs> Is there snow on the ground, like in the yeah. layer? Yeah. Oh, okay. I want In snow. fact, if you stand still enough for long enough, like a, an inch of snow will like accumulate pretty quickly. Okay. Like, it's, it's pretty heavy. I want to... Bend forward and touch my toes. 
and I fall on my side, uh-huh. and I move my arms and legs to make a dragon head. It's like a dragon angel. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's good. Easy enough. You do that. In the tavern. Uh, well, that's where I am. <laughs> Drinking. There's no tech. There's a. There's a. Uh, right. The ten person's ock. nook. Ten ock yeah. is up there, um, and he brought some of his uh, different tree saps. Some of the tree saps are thicker in consistency. Some of them are thinner. Some of them are spiced differently. Um, you go you for the get, spiciest. You can get like a sampler. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. let's do that. There's like twelve different. Like yeah. sap. Saplings. Yeah. There you go. I get a sampling sampler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you make your your snow angel of a dragon. Oh. Snow dragon. Sure. You stand up. You admire. For a split second, you think it like with its mouth. What? Does it actually? It's a. Oh, it just looks like it did. What? <laughs> Standing behind you is Varus. Ah. <laughs> Well, Good luck. Want to make one? Me? Can you touch your toes? No. Really? <laughs> he, he walks around like Mr. Burns. <laughs> 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 He's got very, like, T-Rex arms. <laughs> no. Thank like, God your arm's long enough to reach your mouth. Why do you think my pipe is so long? <laughs> <laughs> you should meet my inches. friends! My other friends. My, like, okay friends. Are they also followers of Teatris? Mm, not really, do you? Well, why not? Because they're lame! <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm working on it. One is a cobalt. I converted a cobalt. Oh. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah. All right, I'll be over here. No, no, you come with me. What? We're meeting them. Okay. You can help me. Okay. Do I see who I see? Felix you see both of them. Me? It's easy to find Felix. He's surrounded by people, and Oni stands out <laughs> just because he's Oni. <laughs> okay. He's yep. a giant. Currently giant tiefling. tiefling. Currently tiefling. Still pretty tall tiefling. Yeah, I got the horns to help. It's bad. Yeah. Okay, so that guy, I swear, is usually a dragonborn, but uh, he's a tiefling right now. Cause, oops. Cause, uh... I assume you're here at where I am at the moment. Now I'm like pulling him towards oh, okay, you. Okay, cool. I don't know. Reasons. Fiddling with the ring. What's, for the, what's with the disguise? He thinks that he'll be persecuted. Why? Because he's a dragonborn. I don't know. I think it's overkill. Why would a dragonborn be persecuted? Ask him. I don't know. Hey you! Dragonborn! His name's Oni. Oni! You turn around <laughs> to see <laughs> to see a uh, uh, sallow and pallid figure. He's got his hood pulled up and so the snow is accumulating <laughs> on his hood and he's taking a drag of his um, vapor uh, is a, yeah. his obsidian dragon, and as he does it, um, you can see that there's these uh, swirls of enchantment that like briefly glow. Cool. As he as he takes his arcane puff of smoke. But you will. How do you know I am Dragonborn? What is this? Oh, this guy can't fool me. Oh. Okay then. Um. Do you know who I am? No. You look like sick man. But you will. <laughs> Pretty perceptive. Not really. <laughs> oh, of course I'm well. Okay. Yes. I am only. So why the disguise? Uh it is safe in this way. <laughs> no. If you want to be safe, you disguise yourself as an elf. I I use a item of only those different, not elf. You from Rablothia? Yes. Which part? The Andrea. Good city. Yes, very good city. We good are city. suffering him. Yeah. It, it is bad situation. This is why this guy's. Yes, that's all that really... I see Riley next to him. What is happening right now? 
You're meeting my new best friend. New best friend? I mean... <laughs> what is your name? Diveris. Diveris. Yes. Pleasure to meet you, Diveris. Oh, you are the Theatris follower. Yes. Oh, very good. You, you did the show with all the dragons. That was very impressive. Very impressive. And you do not follow Theatris? I admire Theatris. Respect Theatris. I am not one to follow gods in general. I have the same kind of respect for Ether. I understand. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you need to work up on work on your your. Could I'm be. still okay at magic. Could be better. It could be yes, very much be better. But I don't have that spell, so I, I have it was in the in the ring, uh, but it, it was very specific. So that is all I have. But I have you may fly around a bit since my familiar and, and I cast familiar. mage hand. <laughs> yes. You may and uh, cast mage hand like I know a little bit of magic. Um, but it's mostly destructive, really. It's it's a shame. Yes. Fair enough. Fair yes. enough. Are you tense? Are you tense? Am I tense? Who is tense? Who is tense? He is tense? No, he is I don't have a tense bone in my body. That is not good. I think someone can help you with that. Yes, you could probably I'm not use some right assistance. Clerics for that, no. yeah. Bones are supposed to be rigid. It is very bad if they are not like this. Mm. You should go check, get that checked. Guess what I realized? What? IRL and on tree. <laughs> ah, if you combine holy and day, you get a holiday. Hmm. Okay. Fun. This That's... is a holy day for the elves, that is correct. Yeah! I hear Did not you know everyone that? likes that. Well, the yes. holiday was holy? I yes. <laughs> I actually realized that like right before we went on the stream. Oh, okay. Riley, welcome to your first epiphany. Yes. There's so many. It usually happens around him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, uh, I'll be off. Over there. Yeah. You know magic as well, though, yes? All of it. Oh. That was all <laughs> magic. Yes. <laughs> Invisible. I look through Yume's eyes <laughs> to smell check. As you do so, from out of thin air, there's just a cloud of pink smoke. <laughs> I just go. Oh, yes, invisibility. I've seen this before. All the magic! When he snaps back, you're looking at a mirror image of yourself. This is very upsetting. <laughs> um, I switch back to Dragonborn. He does too. Tiefling. This is so strange. Is this what it's like when I do this to people? Yeah, it's just like that. That's crazy. Burn all the spell slots. Do it back to Dragonborn. So, if you know all the magic, yeah. will you teach me? You have to follow the address. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow the address then. Yes. Really? Come, come to me in my off time. Okay. Perhaps we can make an arrangement. Okay, yes, please. That would be wonderful. To be clear, my services aren't free. Okay, I have... Yes, gold, gold, whatever. We'll figure it out. 372 gold. It counts real fast. Gold's fine. Okay. I start pulling out the 372 gold. No, damn it, man! Keep it! We'll make other accommodations. Tie it back on. Okay, I owe 250 to the Atoji. Dust off some of this snow that's been accumulating on your shoulders. <laughs> Did you wander over? I'm busy signing autographs. And uh, now I will find shot. you. Uh, yes. That was my shot. Diveris. I'm very distracted though. Yeah. Oni Kandor. I'm planning an orgy. Now go out to like shake his hand. Okay. He claps your hand with a pretty firm handshake, despite the fact that he looks so frail. I'm surprised. 
Mm. He has ten spots in the body. He lied. <laughs> he does that. Though. It's good. Part of being an illusionist. Illusion magic. Oh, my master was a necromancer. That's dark. He was sad. Even for me. Yes. He doesn't really like it. <laughs> From that back here. Davis! Davis, is that you? I'll be back. Yes. I'll keep drinking. Your friend is interesting. He cannot possibly know all the magic. It is so much magic. Do you think he knows about the blood thing? No. no. You can ask. No. I will but ask him. Try to think of a way he can know all the magic, not know all the magic. Maybe. They're all in the books, and then he can just do whatever he wants for that day. Oh, and he goes pensive. <laughs> His mind partially wrong. Well, <laughs> Felix, what are you doing? Planning an orgy. <laughs> yeah, nothing if not consistent. Uh, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, yeah, why not? 38. Everyone knows each other. It's gotta attract something. <laughs> yeah, by the way, you guys have like three or four minutes left on your D12s, which you earned. Oh! So, just think about it. Uh, give me a persuasion check. What can I do if I can roll for anything with no context? Uh, 30. 30. Got it. Uh... <laughs> That's how many people come to the orgy. <laughs> <laughs> That's thirty percent of the town. <laughs> and so, as you're surrounded by people, you notice that one of the people, one of the individuals in the crowd, is the um, mostly shaven silt with his with his um, somewhat well manicured goatee. Where and as you start. Are throwing around this idea of an orgy. He goes, not in my fucking nook! <laughs> well, it depends on the nook you're talking about, but sure. <laughs> but what do you try to say to co- convince the others? But just as dangerous. Sorry, man. Yeah. I, I'm offering a new experience. <laughs> you, you pride yourselves on being a culture of fresh experiences. How many of you have taken a leap into the Beautiful bounds of polyamory. About a third of them raise their hand. <laughs> You're, they're the ones that are invited. How <laughs> about with a half of Exactly. This is, I'm to be told that you don't get all of the races around here. It's a new experience. And there may be other forms of entertainment there as well. Two guys elbow each other in the, in the rare side. Like, to be honest, I've never had a half one before. <laughs> Give it a shot. There you go. It's interesting. There are a few women as well who are like eyeing you up, sizing you up, looking at everyone else in the crowd. He is wearing a shirt that says <laughs> on the app like the waist up. As am I. <laughs> <laughs> You're both very clearly invited. Yeah. I'm not going to join though. <laughs> um, as persuasive as you might be. Is there a large, like, community hall that I could rent out? <laughs> Can you rent out the lunchroom? Yes. <laughs> That's not the best room for that. Um, a library? Oh, no, not the library. We could probably do it in the library. It's apparently big enough. Decently sized. The stage is also definitely. Is there anywhere enough. in this place yes, that's sacred? Yes, we should sacred? do it on the stage. <laughs> Several places. Do it there. Let's go to those places. There are there are um one of the guys, actually one of the guys that nudged the other one, um says we can do it at my place, and a couple of women we can do it at my place. So so you've got offerings of private nooks to. Uh, the most attractive one wins. Uh as in life. <laughs> I will I will roll for attractiveness. Yes. For these two NPCs. It's constitution. Charisma. It's charisma. Uh, it's good. So the, the male is more attractive. His place it is. But neither of them are stellar. Oh, <laughs> they're, they're elves. elves. <laughs> they're elves and Felix's eyes, they're all They're elves, so they get advantage. So yeah, it's a high bar. Right. It's a low DC for Felix. <laughs> yeah. Is it alive? 
Yeah, do it. <laughs> one, of, one, of, one of them's like, well, let's pump ourselves full of liquor, and then let's go liquor. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> That's good. It's a poet to be made of this one. Um, so they all head off in the, in the in the direction of some vendors. I get inundated by horny people. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see Felix. Yeah. Hey, congratulations, man. That was a spectacular show. Thank you. Come celebrate with us. I pull up my, my beverage. Right. Cheers. This way. Party's this way. Okay. Come on. I'll start walking that way. <laughs> <laughs> Grab his hand and pull him with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I know I went with my D12. Sorry. Oh, so you want to oh yeah, I wanted to do a thing too. Yeah, go on. Katasha around? Stuff can check. 22. Ooh. 22. You don't see Katasha. Um, however, you do see someone dressed in a very similar garb to Katasha. Um, however, it's a male. Um, and the individual is standing next to what appears to be a servant, dressed kind of formally, more of a solemn expression on his face. Uh, the the older gentleman, the one that is dressed similarly to, to Katasha in the same type, type of robes and whatnot, um, is kind of hunched over a little bit, and he's staring off into space. What kind of guy? And he's just like continuously Gibbering. Slightly rocking. And there's just a servant that's got his arm kind of holding on to him. There, he's standing out there like he brought this this uh, incapacitated individual to enjoy the festivities, but this person is so out of it. mentally out of it and gone that whether or not he's actually aware of what's going on is unclear. Is this Dreyfus' older brother? But, um, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. And he's right. just, just, like, staring off to We go up to the servant. LFA. LFA. What's going on? Just enjoying the festivities. Is this Katasha's father? Uh, husband. Okay. Yes. Hey. To yes. him, yes. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, Belsarin here. Belsarin? Oh. Out of game, oh. Um, <laughs> does he. He doesn't live with her, does he? Uh. No. Not, not anymore. How long has he been like this? Give me a persuasion check. Oh yeah, that's bad. Maybe 17. 17. Um, she, the, the servant delicately pats his forearm, um, just kind of soothe him. Uh, about six months or so. Recent. I reckon, is he speaking a language? Um, give me a perception check. Okay. Six. Six. Tough to tell. It's it's muffled and it runs together. And it's um, whispered and hushed and it's gibberish. It's, it's hard to tell. It doesn't sound like a language at the moment. You think I could like try to fix him? Your your intentions are uh, honorable, but even the the best of our clerics have not been able to soothe Belsarin's soul. How good are they? Like, <laughs> can they remind people? Toy. Yeah. <laughs> she 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 puts her arm like on your shoulder. Yeah, they're quite good. Can they make people come back from the dead? In the rarest of circumstances. Hasn't been done lightly, but... It's not unheard of. Where's Katasha? She's 
looks about. She's taking care of the festivities. Hmm. She's busy. This is her snow. Oh, that's so dope. Yeah, I got that. She's she's Druid. She's trained in the arcane arts. She's a wizard through and through. I knew it. Just like Belsarania. Okay, well. Have a good night. Aww. I think Kyle missed him. You as well, dear. There's a thing I want to check out if you're done. Yeah. Oh, you said you wanted to use your D12 on something? I think it was based on Katasha's availability. Good. Cool. For for what? I don't know, I just rolled a nine. I wanted to see how good it would have been if I had used it. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been really good. Um Okay, Oni? Yeah. Uh of all the people I've spoken to, do I know who is the most influential in this tree? Uh yes. Yes you do. That would be uh Darius? Darius. Tarphelosa. I'd like to find Darius Tarphelosa. Um, quick venturing about, asking about, uh, he's part of the royal family. Okay. He's not currently there. Seems that the, the, the quote-unquote VIPs are, um, attending to behind-the-scenes type of things. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, who's the next best option that I know of? You're not going to the orgy? Oh, it did I, bring you. He, he was dragging me, but I, I, it occurred to me. I had a, a thought, so I'm going to try and escape that for a minute. How witty of you. How <laughs> uncharacteristically witty of you to catch on so quickly. Oh, I definitely didn't catch on to that. I was just like, oh, shit, there's something I should be doing right now. Hold on. Oh, no, no, you should be here. Actually, no, come later. Don't talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I will listen to that, but I'll try and see if I can find maybe the next best person for my, for my intentions. Um, so most of, so what you learn is that there's a royal family, mm-hmm. uh, d- directly descended from the Tarphalosas, the, the original people that, or, or at least it's said that they're the original people that came from the Feywild to the material realm. Um, so there's a royal family, none of which are currently present, and then below that, there's the, the royal retinue. Of advisors, which include people like Katasha, like uh, Fanetta Feyfoot, mm-hmm. um, and a few others. And most of those people are busy with behind the right. scenes things that are okay. going on. So then I'd have to go on just people I know. So you, you could go to like an indirect servant or an apprentice or. I'll do that, follower. yeah. If there's like a scribe or squire to any of them, I'd like to talk to that person then. Yeah, so th- there's um the person that Riley just spoke to, uh, cool. Katasha's uh, servant that is in charge of her husband. Then I'll, I'll um, talk to her, I guess. There's also a druid that, That's th- a through good. a little bit of, of sleuthing and, and talking about you figure out there's a druid who has connections to Fanatic Eggfoot. And... That's the person I want to talk to then. Boom. Okay. Go so to that. It's currently, uh, 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 it's currently an individual who is using a uh, druid craft as she's building a snow elf. Oh, that's like, awesome. Wrapping it in like vines. That is amazing. Hello. Sorry, don't mean to interrupt you. I am Oni Kaur. Oh, Mr. Oni. Yes, pleasure to meet you. May I get your name? Uh, Osiris. Osiris. Very nice name. Um, I am here to speak with Faneta Feyfold. I understand she is very busy, so I don't want to, to pressure anything right now, but I would very much need to speak with her. Um, uh, is there anything you can do perhaps that, that, that will assist me in this? Um, or, or perhaps if her writings about uh, the blights that she is familiar with are in, in the library, perhaps I could see there instead? Whatever is easiest, really. She withdraws for a second, becoming pensive. She absentmindedly brushes off some of the snow that's accumulating on her shoulder. Mm-hmm. And she's wearing uh, clothes that seem to be leaves that are stitched together. Oh, it's cool. a pattern of like uh, green and brown leaves that are stitched together into this uh, singular dress. Yeah, real Terrence style. 
Um, <laughs> and she says, well, she's quite distracted. If there were a way to alleviate her current duties, I'm sure she would be more receptive to guests. Um, but what is she doing now? Well, she's in charge of date day activities, in charge of much of the holiday activities that's probably currently <coughs> experiencing. But she's also in charge of the health and wellness. Oh, the tree, yes. The tree. Yeah, of course. And, um, hmm. uh, there's been rumors, which are sadly true, that uh, the, health, the health of our homeland is in decline. That is the same for me. And she has seen it. And she has information that would help me, I think. Um, I'm not sure what I can do to alleviate. Um, but if, if there is anything I can do, I'd gladly do it. Um, Give me a persuasion This is what I was hoping for, guys. With your d12. Yeah. God, please roll fucking well. <laughs> okay. 19. 19. Yeah. She looks you up and down. Yes. After the brief minutes of discussion, um, you can tell that she she feels like she's got a pretty good read, a pretty good beat on who you are as a person. Dope. That you're pretty pretty genuine um, and, and forthright and sincere. She goes, well, don't know what the problem is. What we know, or we suspect rather, has something to do with the roots of the tree. Okay, so perhaps the drought? Perhaps. It's possible. It wouldn't make much sense. The drow have been known to pillage and take some of the roots for their own uses, for the magical, magical, uh, their magical properties are useful in a variety of contexts, mm-hmm. but. Uh, don't know why that would have suddenly changed. Perhaps it wasn't sudden. Presumably the drow have just as much to benefit from the tree as we do, even if only indirectly. This is fair. Now, obviously I do not have all the information, but perhaps it is not sudden and they do not realize the effects they are causing. Simply a theory. I am happy to go check out the root uh, situation, if there is a way I can access that. I mean, access to the the Underdark is easy, easy, easy enough, okay. whether through here or through Vintel. Uh, problem is, the roots are quite expensive, and so it's a bit like navigating a labyrinth. Yeah, so three of this size. Imagine yeah. how far and wide the roots extend. Yes. And if any one of those was infected, could infect the rest of the tree, even if only slowly. Uh, Do you expect the cause of this to be poisonous? Or disease-like? I don't know. I mean, that, that might be a question for Vanessa, but... Her time is currently kept keeping the illness at bay and slowing its progression. Okay. Keeping it in a sort of a abeyance, a stasis of, of states. Sorts. Okay, let's assume that I go check out the roots. Yes? Um, if I find information, fantastic. If I don't, I'm sorry. But would this get me a meeting with Faneta Faithful? Can't guarantee it. Perhaps during one of our brief respites, I will uh, mention that there's a, uh, there's a tiefling out here who's uh, interested in discussing some of these matters with her and can't make any promises on her behalf. What about access more this now. to the library? Where her writings may be found. I can tell you right now that she's far too busy to sponsor that because she would have to directly come with you to supervise you. Could you do it? But uh, may be able to find someone else. Who would However, you suggest? access to uh, Kaike Matka is even more 
limited since the incident. What are you speaking of? Uh, not too long ago, one of the outlanders that was visiting the town, human from the Emerald Isles, uh, was graciously granted access to it and they attempted to set fire to the library. So things have been particularly tight in terms of security and caution. Well, I will do everything I can to appease the, the regulations for this, if I were to be considered for this. Just just know the deck is currently stacked against you. What? I'm sorry? Deck? Deck, the, the deck of... Do you play cards? Sometimes. You, uh, it's gonna be harder than usual. Playing cards? <laughs> Getting into the library is going to be harder than usual. Oh, she see, she uh, begins speaking up as if like you're deaf. Okay. Getting into the library! <laughs> oh, okay. Metaphor. I see now. Okay. I'm sorry. Common is not my best language. I, I, I lose a lot of them. Um, okay. So deck is stacked against me. Means getting in is hard. Okay. Well, I will do everything I can. To appease what I need to, I am desperate. She, she's, as you've been having this discussion, she continues um, uh, decorating the the snowman that she's built. You know, yeah. Various like uh, sh- shrubs and roots sprout, kind of like leaves poof, pop out his <laughs> eyes and whatnot. It's very impressive. All child's play. <laughs> I can't do anything like that. I'll cast Ray of Frost and shoot it at the, at the snow. <laughs> it's the best I have. Oh. Yep. I'll cast Mage Hand and maybe poke at it a little. Yeah, really. In any case. Hold on. Um, so I will see what I can do. Uh, perhaps we, we shall continue to speak uh, when you manage to, to speak with Felita Faithful. I will be in touch. Are there any other people, perhaps, that, that might be able to grant me access to, to the library? That you might recommend? Few. No. Uh, Olivia has some contacts. Olivia? Yes, she's in charge of the, the mushroom. Mushrooms? Yes, mushroom okay. farms. Okay. Um, yeah, a, couple of the, a couple of the merchants might. Narayan has some contacts, but he won't be back into the tree until after the holidays are over. Okay. Um, Oh, Lavin? Don't think he knows any of the the inner circle. Okay. Any of the red nip. Okay. Okay. Olivia. Yes. Thank you. Um, Alafe. Alafe? Yes. Best Mm. of luck. Thank you. And I'll go to where Felix pointed me. <laughs> he said not to knock, so I guess I'll just open the door. <laughs> you guys haven't gotten... So Felix hasn't gotten there yet. They're still uh, planning on pre-gaming here before they return mm. back for the private... So I make it to the pre-game. Shindig, yeah, so you can find him. Dope. Do I still have my D12? Yeah. I want to look for a sign. Augury? Okay, sure. I don't have Augury prepared. I rolled a nat 20, and I rolled a 1 on my d12. <laughs> so, 21. so 24 for perception? Oh. 24. Okay. Nat 20? Yeah, it's crazy. So, you take a moment, trying to recall, um, or inadvertently being flooded by the uh, numerous tales that you had heard from the original book that you had pilfered from your monastery. Um, It's almost like a string of associations going from one story to the next, one story to the next, looking around, um, kind of looking but not seeing. You see kids running by in the snow, leaving trails of footprints, the the, the sounds of the freshly crushed oak. Um, you see a couple of your companions, you see Oni off in discussion uh, with what clearly looks to be a, a Jiro DC. Felix leading a group of uh, people who are becoming increasingly sloshed Clark and, <laughs> and um, affectionate, uncoordinated. Yeah. Um, 
and whatnot. Uh, and then you see uh, your familiar companion, Diveris, off in the corner. He's got his back turned to you, has his whole hood pulled up. Um, there's snow that's beginning to accumulate on him. And then from the top, there's a origami dragon <laughs> lands right on his foot. He's completely unaware. He just goes on talking, talking to a group of people. point you hear some commotion off in the distance time for the wheelbell races oh man i'm in hold on felix i have to be a part of this and <laughs> again don't knock okay <laughs> i go join you're going you're going to join the wheelbell races yes who's your partner who is my partner i there ask are, anyone who's there <laughs> there are a few people who like hesitantly like yeah, okay, I'll do it, yeah. Let's yes, do it. let's do this. Hey, you bastard, you said you were going to be my partner. I did. Partner with a tiefling, then an elf. Oh, yes. I, I do this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Does anyone else want to participate in this? I don't think they were too happy I'm with stuck the... in foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're in social foreplay. What do we win? Mode at I the moment. pre base. That's it? Just like glory? Oh. At the so you you oh, walk by and you see that there's there's an impromptu like start line and finish line and at the finish line uh, there are a series of bugs <laughs> set up. Nice. <laughs> and someone's explaining the rules. Right. So you're gonna grab a partner. You're gonna get into wheelbell position. You're gonna run across to your pint. Down the pint. Switch partners. Come back. Winner is another pint. Is there Quillo around? Perception check. We're gonna play that same game just without clothes. <laughs> Six. Six, you don't currently uh, see him at the moment. Three. Very good, let's do this. Okay. You- I got my gloves. <laughs> you get into, into, into preparation mode. Um, fortunately for you, your partner is an elf. Oh. He's fairly skinny. Yep. Easy uh, for me to carry. Hair pulled back into a ponytail. Yep. Uh, he's kind of, he's in his wheelbarrow position, but he kind of like keeps lifting his hands. Like, ah, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. <laughs> You've got this. And then as, as people are lining up and in preparation, um, Riley, you feel a tug on your like, your dragon scale <laughs> uh, uh, skirt. What are you doing, sis? Riley. What's going on? You're gonna be my wheelbarrow. I'm gonna be your wheelbarrow. And I'm gonna be yours. What's a wheelbarrow? Oh, Woody's game. Yes. Go on, do it. Yeah. Okay. Should have saved my D12. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can hold me. You want? Oh, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> so he 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 he. He goes and walks. Weak. Penguin walks his way over to the sky. Room for one more. <laughs> the guy looks at him, recognizes who he is and his association with the only. So oh, one second goes, draws another cast, pours, um, pours oh, another yeah. sap, puts it down. Oni's hype. On your marks. Yes. yes. Get set. <laughs> Begin the race to inebriation. <laughs> Start so you all start stumbling forward. You grab Arquillo by the legs. His tail's flapping in the way. Uh, go ahead and make uh, athletics checks. You make two. One for oh, you, wow. one for Arquillo. I'll tell you your partner's roll. I rolled so shitty. You rolled a 15. Dope. I rolled a 3, so that's 9. <laughs> your coordination off. He's trying to go left, right, left, right. You're going right, left, right, left, and you're a bit out of sync. You're falling behind. I'm laughing. Riley got a 6, and Arquillo got an 11. Nice. So Riley's having a bit of a tough time because she's bent so far over because our quill is so small that she's kind of like hunched over. Um, so you're pretty much neck and neck with Oni and his partner. Our has a zero for athletics. 
Is this athletics or yeah. strength? It's athletics. Oh. 13. What's it like? 13 and 6. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there are a, a number of people that are pushing forward. Okay? Go okay. ahead and make another uh, Come on, we've got check. this. Yeah, go for it. Natural 20. Natural 1. Natural 1! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect balance. <laughs> <Yep>. <gasps> wow. I rolled it. We both rolled 17. <laughs> 17. <laughs> After a bit of, of a false start and mixed up coordination, our Arqu- quill turns back and goes, like this! <laughs> and then he starts going, starts like clawing his way forward, and then you start mimicking his movement, and then you pick up speed, and you make up for quite a bit of speed and distance that you had lost. Can we win? So you're pulling up, you're pulling up, um, into your, you're like in third at this point. There's like ten teams. Pretty oh, sure it's straight up trip. <laughs> his hand sand carrying you. <laughs> he, he begins to make some distance, yeah. but then you just like get distracted momentarily. And then your your one foot trips over the other, and poof, fall right on top of him. You begin to you don't gain any ground, but you don't lose any ground in terms of your relative positioning <laughs> to everyone else. Okay, so you're we're e- perfectly balanced. Yep. You're you're about uh, seventh out of ten. Oh wow. You're in third out of ten. Okay. Okay. One more athletics check. Psyching myself up. Go on. We got this. Yeah, turn this around. He's gonna what? No. The fuck? <laughs> Natural one again. That's a two. <laughs> At this point, oh, your partner <laughs> turns around, goes, "Come on, man!" And he takes a snowball and like <laughs> swings it at you. He's giving up. He's giving up on the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Throw him back. Only <laughs> you and your partner just get stuck in like a snowball fight. I love between it. the two of you. Yeah, I'm using mage hand and mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Riley laughing about rolled, it. Oh, Riley rolled a zero, but she didn't roll a natural one. Okay. And our quill rolled a 19. Damn. Yeah, you don't you don't gain any ground, but you don't lose any ground. Really? You stay at third. Nice. There you, you stay at third. The, the, the three teams, uh, the two teams in front of you, have gotten to their drink. They down them, and then they've switched partners, and they've turned around. At this point, you and Arquillo have gotten there. And now you're switching partners. Dope. Okay. Yeah, our, quillos, our quillo picks up the, the mug. And you can see that there's like these small dragon claws <laughs> a, a, a behind a giant mug that obscures his face. And his face just kind of like creeps over there. Yep, there it is. <laughs> he's drinking it. You can see he's going super slow. Do we both have mugs? Yeah. There's one at the, at the just one at Just the, one? You okay. can help him. I'll give me that. <laughs> you take it out of his hands. <laughs> Did you chug it? Yeah. Okay, you chug it. Make a con save. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, due to the accumulation of drinks you've had throughout the evening, you're starting to feel buzzed. Okay, that's cool. At this moment. Let's you switch it. partners. Yeah. You get down on your hands. Yeah. You throw your legs up. Yep. Our quill is like... Hoo! Crush it. <laughs> At this point, your legs are like resting on his shoulders. And he's like, Riley! Uh-huh. I can't see. Go. I know. We got a six and a five. You got a six and a five. Do I know who got which? No, you start. You start moving, but you move at an angle. So, so it's not the most efficient hey, route. Hey, our quill keep going that way. We'll bulls him all over. Okay. He's gonna sink into the snow. Well, I'm gonna move off to the sidelines yeah. and start cheering for them. Uh, 12 and a 9. 12 for 12 me. 12 and a 9. You begin just to, to straighten out a little bit. You cut a few people off such that you halt their progress. <laughs> um, so relatively, you're you're now in fifth. Okay. At this point. You're still moving forward. You got one more check. You got one this. Check. There's one person that's crossed the finish line, but uh, no one's taken second yet. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Uh, f- I got five, he got 18. <laughs> now, Quill is carrying you. Yeah. <laughs> like, both physically and throughout this race. Yep. Our Quill is like, I don't know what's going on, but I don't think we're winning. <laughs> we're not losing. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just, you putter into fifth. <laughs> Very good job. Well done. And um, there are there are consolation drinks down for everyone. Mm. The winner gets uh, two full mugs. I so chug them. The two people are. It was actually two dwarves who won. Nice. They like clank drinks and they start. I give them a big old cheers to you guys. Sipping it down. Well done, well done. You are champions 
of Vintar. You will do well in Ragnothia. Yeah! Huzzah! Aquila. I'll give them both hugs. I pick them up. We're never going to do that again. You guys were amazing. Yes, Riley. We're never going to do that again. Oh, I was starting to get good at it. You are all you really good at you it. You can do that as much as you want. We'll work on it together. Just not with me. Not with me. Yes. I'll lead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pick on you. Oni. Yes. That was a joke. <laughs> oh, you're way bigger than me. Way bigger. <laughs> Significantly bigger. But we will train you. Can you make me bigger? Not yet. But magic. Yes. We make can... it magic. Uh, yes, but later. Okay. Do you want some lifts? Lifts? Yeah, you know like that one Seinfeld episode <laughs> where Newman got lifts in his shoes? Or is it George? George. Fuck. I don't watch Seinfeld. <laughs> It is okay. It's fun show. It's too contemporary. It doesn't always weigh, uh, age very well, but fun show. <laughs> Take your word for it. Yes. <laughs> Honey, can you make me bigger? I can give you lifts. <laughs> He's like spreading out his, dra- his impromptu dragon wings that have been folded to a dress. If you ever encounter a bear, do that. It's very impressive. Good job. Already an expert. Okay. All right. So now I, I oh, uh, Felix invited me to celebrate with you. Uh, he said to celebrate just go what? in and not knock. Um, I guess the night, in general, his performance so, unclear. Sounds suspicious. Okay. Well, I'll be going over there. You're okay. welcome to join, of course. Off, off in the corner, all three of you hear a big huzzah of celebration as there's uh, a, a group of people huddled around a table. Um, a few people walk away. There's uh, one individual who's like uh, holding uh, some sort of trinket in his hand. He's like holding people. Um, and as the table clears, you can see that there are like three different, three or four different stations where people are currently gambling Dope. at the table. So oh, we're definitely gonna join that. Where are you to get to? You got all night for an orgy. Like these are the festivity games. I would like to write out a little message uh, in, in common and, and give it to Yume and have Yume fly to where I believe uh, Agar and Sebastian are. Just saying, hope you guys are having a good festival. Okay, so yeah. actually, um, you, you take a moment, you, you step outside of, of the primary uh, basin mm-hmm. of the trunk to a branch um, and uh, you look down to where the veil is. And although it's too dark to make any distinct features, you do see that there are um, very distinct and prominent beacons of light from the bottom, what you suspect to be bonfires. You can see a series of, of bonfires, like five or six of them. Yeah, I'll send you may that way. Okay. Um, are you gonna peer through her eyes or just send a message? I'm just gonna send a message. Okay. Yeah. She comes back in like ten minutes. Cool. And then I'll go join Felix, and I'll inform him of the gambling in case he didn't realize. Okay. So I go into whatever building he's in. He's not currently in a building yet. Oh. Okay. He's still. He's part still of this. part of the. Oh, nice. Okay. Good perusing. Yeah. I can gamble. Yes. No. Um, if you like. Yes. So, but before I do that, yeah, um, I want to. Just take a glance, we'll take a good look, if I've been hanging out with them for a while, over at everyone there. Uh, and if there's anyone that is probably going to be participating in the orgy that is not doing it out of fun, but is doing it out of like, they seem sad, and like, are doing it as a form of escape. fucking? Yeah, just they, they are not happy and are doing it as just like a distraction from reality or life, just like... The people that you would feel sad for them. Okay. You're you see, drinking alone, drowning your sorrows. Yeah. Find someone there to fuck. Yeah. Okay. What about that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to make a note of that. If there is anyone there. Okay. He wants that. to put an extra finger up there, but. Yeah. Show them an extra special touch. It's pretty shocking. Um, hey. Okay, give me an inside check. 
Seventeen. Okay, we'll roll. Percentage. Ninety percent of us. All you, need, all you need was a fifty percent. You got a forty-two. Ooh. Doesn't there's no one seems to be there. Everyone that's there is genuinely interested in the series of salacious acts that are going to take place tonight. Okay. That's right. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> At least will be a happy orgy. Orgies with a half. There's no one out there who's using this opportunity uh, for escapism. Okay. Right. Then. Off to gambling. Oblivious to it. Off to gambling you go. I join um, him. When you get gambling. to when you get to the table, you see a, a familiar individual. You see Fumak, who's there with his um, his. Uh, it's almost like a chandelier of dangling monocles, loose strands, each one oh, that's different size and shape and different thickness, and some of them are opaque and some of them are like tinted red and whatnot. And every once in a while he puts one to his eye and glances out to the sky and puts one down, like rolls some dice as he's as he's playing. Um, he's got uh, four different uh, tables set up and there are individuals at each table. And you, do, being the gambling aficionado that you are, you notice quickly that uh, there's quite the ruckus. No, I'm tumbling. Really I'm just kind of falling. <laughs> <laughs> Oni's drunk. Oni's drunk. Actually, let me see. I've been drinking a lot. Thirteen. Yeah, I'm drunk. Okay. So Oni's becoming increasingly more uh, uncoordinated. Yes. Still I'm giving gesturing. it gesturing relatively well. I'm, I'm real jovial. Yeah. Super jovial right now. You recognize there are four games that are playing. Uh, Portals, mm. uh, Rising Stakes, mm. which is a game where uh, you roll a d8, keep it hidden, roll a d6, keep it hidden, roll a d4, highest number of ways. Uh, there's uh, Dragon Slayer. It's his favorite. It's favorite. Um, and then there is uh, Dice Race. Which one can we both play in? We can all play Dice Race. You can all play all the games. All the games are multiplayer. That's true. Oh, dope. Let's play one of each. Yes, let's start with um, Dice Race. What do we bet? Um, the, the stakes are not gold. You have to bet an item. Any item. I pull out a longsword. You're betting a longsword. A longsword. Whose longsword is that? It's my old longsword. I have a candle that never goes out. Those will both work. As Fumak is uh, exchanging monocles at the moment. I have a necklace with three skulls on it. Throw it into the pile. Boom. He actually, actually, he holds open a bag. He says, all right, throw it in, throw it in. Throws it in, throw it in. He all throws it in. I assume the skulls are human. Um, it's like it was orcish, actually. Yeah, maybe. Like, it was super long ago. It was like the orc party that we killed on the road. Yeah. Uh, could be human. Give me a medicine check. I feel like a guard would have identified him before. Yep. Uh, 15. 15. Uh, one of them seems to be human. One of them you suspect is goblinoid. And one of them is unidentified. Okay. Interesting. Very cool. <laughs> well, win the games. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. it's just for one game. You have to put something in for each game. Yeah, for each each time you play, you have to put in an item. Very cool. All right, well, you guys want to play for... uh, four holes? Dice race. Dice race. Yeah, what's that? Okay, sure. so all players will roll a d6. Humak will also participate. He will be the house. The house gets plus one regardless to all rolls. Right, right. And then the oh, highest roll, highest roll gets a plus one. Okay. What number are you playing to? You're playing first person to twenty. Okay. What's he putting in? Um, he's going to put in. They're cheering, so you know it's good. I think they just. He won. pulls out um, one of those fans that you can kind of mm. uh, cool yourself off with, yeah. and it's made of streaks of ebony and white feathers. Oh, cool. He pulls it out of the bag. My so, auntie? 
we all get the prizes when we win? You get to draw from the bag of mundane treasure. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. Roll a d6. I got too excited. <laughs> Did that go? You rolled a four. Me too. All right. I rolled a three. Okay, so just keep track of that. You rolled a six, plus house is seven, plus top, plus top is eight. Shit balls. So he has an eight. Roll it again. Okay. Oh my god. Cool, okay. Five. Five as well. Five. You roll a six again. No! Please, let's, yep. One, bitch. So does that mean that we get plus ones as no. well? No. no. Okay. Whoever gets the highest. Okay, and that means the house gets plus two if he gets the highest. Correct. Okay, cool. Hey, ah, poop. One. Three. Oh. You got a six? six? Yeah. Okay, he got a six as well. Again? Yes. No, three, six no, no, in no. a row? Five plus one. Oh. Five plus one this time. Six. Six. He's at 18. I can't even win. Me <laughs> neither. <laughs> He's a 21. Oh, yeah, so he already won. Eight and eight and six. All right, right. That's 22. Do I get yeah, 22. points for calling him out? <laughs> so he busted. Yes, that is a 22. <laughs> Rally's real good in that. Despite her intelligence. Sorry, sorry. Would you like to play again? A uh, different game. All right. So I lose a longsword. Yep, longsword. Out. Holy shit. Okay. I pull out my cro- my case of crossbow bolts. Do you have use of these? Throw it in the bag. Throw it in the bag. Oh, I have to put more in there? Every time you want to play, you gotta throw in an item. There are a hundred crossbow bolts in that case. It's a lot of bolts. Yes. Hope you don't need them. I don't. This guy seems like a cool dude, right? Yeah. Cool dude. I'm gonna pull out... Your drug fruit? No, I already get- well, I'm surprised. Did I win that back when I won my competition? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, I got that back. So you can put it in? <laughs> not though. I'm gonna bet out. I'm gonna put out like a little pinch. Little, go into my, my satchel, get like a pinch of spice, and put it in another little baggie. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we just call it spice now. Is that canon? Oh, is, it, is it drugs or is it actual spices? It's drugs. That's drugs. Is that oh, canon okay. like in D&D or just in... I, I think that's a Stanley. I, I don't know. Okay. We're, we're it's definitely a Star it. Wars thing. I mean, is it known to be illegal? You suspect that a place like this, drugs are not exactly common, but not frowned upon. Cool. Yep, so yeah, I'll put in enough for a decent night. Okay. I have and a question. Yeah. What's an alms box do? What's it? Alms are like. Uh, an alms box would like contain priestly things like incense and uh, yeah, it's like a thing holy symbols, symbols and, and basically like your it's the medical kit equivalent for priests. I have no use for this. Put in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you put your alms box into the bag. There's a lot of shit. Okay, there. so we're I going to play. Okay. Feel a tap on here. Yes. Hey, what are you doing? Gambling. What? It's playing games with can, dice. Can I do it? Yes, of course. Give me some. Okay. <laughs> you gotta bet something. Uh, do you have any mushrooms? Or he just like takes a random pouch. I can't it? see the table. I pull him up on my shoulder. That's better. Yes. What's in the pouch? Stuff he's got in. Spices. <laughs> like feelings. Well done. Yeah. So we are going to hey, play. Hey, you like spices too? Wait, Dude, to play. I'll try you some. Sure. I'll, sh- I'll show you how to eat mine later on. We gotta eat in a special way. Ancient Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer. Okay. That's what we're going to play. Okay. Why yes. would I kill the dragon? Uh, uh, this dragon is dragon. the slayer. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. It's just easier this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> do you want to fight? Wait, this one pays out. Pay out stronger. Yeah, so if you uh, win from this, you can uh, draw several times depending on yeah. the level. Let's go Ancient Dragon. Eh. No? Yes, that's not small, build your way up. But we're going to play multiple times. Hey, we, we gotta see if we wanna lose the streak right now. 
So we gotta, we gotta go. Now we need to sleep before we start going hippie. Shit! I should have just slowly taken shit out of my arm bar and said. Right. Thank yes, you. I suppose. I could have put in one bolt at a time. <laughs> yeah, did not expect that to happen. So you can play Dragon Slayer one at a time, like successively. Okay. Cool. I would like to try Ancient Dragon Slayer, please. All right, let's do it. Roll a d12. D12. Then what? <laughs> What'd you roll? Eleven. Ooh. Roll a three. Plus seven. Plus seven. You win! Wow. You win. Hey! You get to draw uh, six times from the Damn. bag. There's only nothing left. Hopefully the house has. Don't worry, there'll be, yes. there'll be <laughs> plenty left. He has the bag of random stuff like we used to in his campaign. Oh! Roll, uh, roll a D100 six times. Six so times. we'll just start one at a time. Okay, first one is... Is that 96? No, it it's a 96. 96. Yeah. You get a... <laughs> or no, sorry, 66. You get a red... 66. Yes, right, 66. 66. Okay. Um, he pulls out a pen. Oh, I love pens. Just hands it to you. Thank you. Pen? Um, I'll figure that out later. P-E-N or I-N? P-E-N. like to write stuff with. Next one, 21. 21, you receive uh, a cube of ice. Oh, <gasps> thank you. Put that <gasps> away. Yes! <laughs> you guys are the worst. <laughs> uh, 87. 87, you receive... This is the third one. Yeah. Just a cube, a small cube of roughly the same size as the ice of cheese. Oh. That just reeks. Hmm. But... Doesn't look molded. Doesn't look like it's going bad. It just reeks. I give it a lick. <laughs> Doesn't do anything to me. <laughs> it tastes as bad as it smells. Okay. Would you like this aquila? <laughs> oh, I can spice it. Yep. Next roll. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. This is number four. Yeah. You get a uh, small red flag, hmm. and right now there's a gust of wind. It blows this way, kind of across your body, mm -hmm. and the red flag uh, kind of like flaps against the wind. Oh, oh! It's a contrarian flag. Put that away. Next one. Four. Zero zero and four is just four, right? You get a grass, okay, cool. a brass whistle. Brass whistle. Ooh, I like these. Put that away. That was number five. So this is my last draw. I think. Seventy-three. 73. You receive a small um, empty frame, and as you pull it up to yourself to look at it, uh, in uh, cross stitching, like it begins to appear like you see a portrait of yourself with the expression of you looking at it. Oh! In what? In tiefling form. That is exciting. I move it away and I look back at it. Is it still me? Yes. I move it away and I show it to Riley. Does is it, it change? <gasps> oh, this is fun. I do it to Aquila. <laughs> he gets like really close to it, so it's mostly the portrait of like a snout. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll put that away too. I'm gonna need to borrow that snout. I take it and I just give it to him. <laughs> I have a group shot to take. Okay, okay so uh, I've lost my bolts. Yes, but you've gained six other things. Yeah, they're dope. You took note of them all, right? Mm hmm Okay. Is anyone else playing Dragon Slayer? Yeah. Okay. What uh, variety? Medium. Whatever is in the middle. Medium? Okay. What's the medium dragon called? Bolt. Bolt. All right. <laughs> Roll two. You roll the two, but plus five. <laughs> so you lose as your alms box just goes in and... and then, Sorry, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Wait, but there's a bunch of stuff in that. What cookie are you talking yeah. about? So I like, get like all of the games are for that, right? I never saw the inside of it, so. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're not. Yeah, let's you participate. I will also do an adult dragon. Adult dragon. Right. Okay. Ugh. I lost four. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. There's no physical. No, no, I can do. No, no possible way to win. As you look at the, the dice, like, tips towards 12, and, like, 
falls yeah. back to like two or three. Falls. It's not as exciting when you're not paying for money. It's going I to disagree. Pay. I got a lot of very good things. Yeah, kind of you guys want to keep yes. gambling? I would yeah. like to try the next game, please. Oh, okay. I will put in my... This one's a little different. Um, next game is Rising Stakes. Everyone will roll a d8. You'll keep it hidden. Then you get a, ch a chance to uh, bet, call, or, or fold. And every time it gets raised, you have to add in another item. So if someone adds in two items, you have to add in two items. Crap. So each round is like an item. I don't have that much stuff, man. I have rations for days. Does that count? I mean, is, is there a way that we can... Oh. Can we value certain items above others? Like, if I put in... You know, uh, a long sword, for instance. Yeah, like as a long sword match, you know the 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 diamond ring that I won in my tournament. Um, it's more of a like one thing in, one thing out type of thing. Um, so we can't force more value. You can't force more value because then it becomes difficult. Because if you have an item that's worth two things but you lose, there's nothing to put in the pot. There's nothing like right. you could just walk away with and like nothing gets added to it. So. You should add the frame to your equipment. Oh, right. Um, you guys can bet gold if you want. Gold is an item. Okay. Oh. Okay. They're not playing for money. Yeah. But if you want to add in money as your gold, as your item. Okay. That makes things a lot simpler. I was going to start cutting my hemp and rope and just putting in parts <laughs> of it. I mean, that's, that's more interesting. <laughs> I'll do that. What kind of ring did I win? In, in my tournament, like you said, the lady was going to donate one of her rings. No, she donated... She donated a small uh, gargoyle statuette. Right, gargoyle statuette. Was there anything special about the pen? Uh, or an ice cube? Is that the never-melting ice cube? You pull out a paper, and before you can even uh, write anything, it just starts scribbling. Ooh. What? Dancing pen. What? Uh, ice cube never melts. Yeah. Just a brass whistle. Flag that flies against the wind. Contrarian flag. And smelly cheese that Martine would have loved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> did he actually get that? I know he had the crab meat. Did he get the cheese too? I feel like I he, did. he did. I don't think no. he did. How much did you just pull out of the bag? One win. <laughs> or five gold. Okay. Five gold? No, if I don't win, I'll do it. Okay. So we got, are we playing Rising Stakes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So everyone will roll a D8 to begin with. Do we have to add D first? We have to put I mean, uh... D pot? No, you can, you can ante after you see it. Cool. Okay. I will ante before, and I will cut 10 feet off of my 50-foot hemp and rope and put it in. He looks at you a bit like... This counts, yes? Sure. Okay. <laughs> it's a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a D8, then a D6, then a D4, yeah? If you keep going, yeah. Okay. I'll just throw in three gold. Okay. Throw in three gold. Wait, we have to ante before? No. Yeah, fuck that. Are you playing? Yeah. Okay, now throw some. Are you keeping the roll? Are you continuing? Sure. I'm keeping my room. Okay. Throw uh, something in. I cut off another 10 feet. Okay. Here's an origami dragon. Does anyone Ooh, want to... Does anyone want to raise? Yes. That's putting in the 10 more feet, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, second. Okay, item. cool. So I did. So, um, raise? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will put in two more gold and another baggie of spice. Okay. Uh, the, uh, Fumok puts in, he puts in one of his monocles. He just, like, clips it off and puts it in the bag. Oh, I would like to win that monocle. That's what I. Yeah. Is the I'll... one keeping track of the pot? Nope. No. Is there anything special about the brass whistle? No, he said plain old. Oh, plain old. Yeah, cool. I have two vest mounts, so I'll put them on. Okay. Into the as as you begin to like put the items into the bag, there's a slight, almost like vacuum like sucking like, shoo, 
is it just sucks itself into this pocket dimension. Oh, so we're just playing for pulls for pulls out of the bag. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Still painting. I don't know if that means that whoever wins all the games, like I, I don't know what the pot's about, but whoever wins just gets however many pulls of items that they were. Yeah. Awesome. Dope. Yep. So I have to roll a d6. That's a, oh, motherfucker. Are we rolling a 6 now? Yeah, roll a d6. I will not so add anything this time. Everyone is currently in for two, no, three items. So two, everyone, two items currently. I raised I raised by two. Yeah, so he went to three. Oh, he went to three? I'll yep. put another ten feet. Okay. Riley, right, you're adding more money? Here's a silver. Okay. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Okay, so now everyone's at three items. Yeah. yeah. And final round, D4. Okay. Come on, four. Oh, <laughs> guys, look at that. Well, it's the cocktail dice that's ever been. That is the cocktail wow. dice I've ever seen. Also, I feel like I should win for that. You should. <laughs> that's impressive. You should win something. You win at D&D. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, Fumak at the table rolled uh, a total of eight. Can anyone beat yes. that? I rolled okay. two fours and a one. So nine. Yeah. Okay, can anyone beat a nine? Yeah. Yes. Thirteen. Thirteen. Eight plus six. Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. Wow. Now it's twelve. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> okay, Felix, you I get, get to draw a lot of pulls. Three pulls? No, I was like, wait, do I get based on what I put in or what everyone put in? You get you get three pulls. Oh. <laughs> I put in more than three. That would have been nine. Yeah, nine pulls would have been a lot for a game that's pretty easy to win. Nine, no, 59? 59. Ooh, you pull out a small pot of black ink. Ooh, can, can I have that? Oh, actually, you have use for it too. Never mind. I need magical ink anyway. You need magical ink. Yes. 78? 78. As of right now, it's just a small uh, red pebble. I'm all red bit. As of that. Yeah, well. And 62. 62. You pull out a small diary called <laughs> um, uh, Misadventures in the Arcane Arts. Oh, that Ooh. sounds like fun. A wizard's diary of failed magical experiments. That's funny. That's so exciting. That actually sounds like a really interesting read. Which reminds me, Riley, do you want the dancing pen? Yeah! Okay, I give her the pen. <laughs> can I make it do things? You can try, but it doesn't. <laughs> it just scribbles, like, on its own. Okay, I want to look at it. It just seemed like something that she would like, so... I'm gonna concentrate here, Lord! <laughs> This is a draw dragon. No. God damn it. <laughs> you hear. God damn it. <laughs> Audio, what's wrong with Riley? She's sad because the pen didn't do what she, what she wanted it to do. Oh, that makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next game. <laughs> Next game. Portholes. Yes. 2d10s. Yeah, we know how this works. Vaguely. For anyone, highest roll no port gets to draw. Everyone throws in an item. Okay. Ugh. I put four silver so I can round down. Uh, I will take off another ten feet of my hip and rope. I am down to twenty feet. Okay. Okay. Check the gold. So we take the highest if we don't roll doubles, right? Correct. Oh damn it! I killed it. Yeah, I fucking did. What'd you get? Uh. Five. Seven. Ten. Ten. Nice. Riley, you get to Woo! reach into the bag. Okay, hey, season I roll. <laughs> no, what? roll again. Well, that's a one. Yeah, it's a one. Sorry. So nine. Nine. Uh, you still win. Yeah, yeah. I, I fucked that up. Nine. Yeah. Yeah, double okay. zeros. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now you get to roll to see what you get. That's one. That's, that's a one. She rolled one. On percentage. It's only a 10 minutes. I, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I forget, I know. Pull out a rabbit's foot. That's cool. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> you have been, though. Why? 
It's lucky. Let's play again. Okay. I put in, I think it's my last 10 feet of hemp and rope. Fair enough. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, bummer. <laughs> this is a bad roll. Higher than an eight. I rolled oh. double fives. Oh, double so ten. fives. Nice. Felix, you get to draw from the bag. Yay! So ninety-five. Uh, I want to say that's good, but I have no concept. <laughs> I think they're all equally mundane, right? Okay. <laughs> right. Really Here's want, what you get! I really want right. to roll 69. You get a lump of heinously sticky tar wrapped in a leather rag. <laughs> okay. I don't come in That's useful at some point. Right. <laughs> Rag is a universal symbol of good luck. It's, it's like that My Hero Academia guy you're telling me about with yeah. the sticky hair. Yeah, he takes have. off his hair balls. <laughs> One more! I put in five gold just to draw from the bag. I put in two gold. Okay, just give me a percentile. Shit, I can't see. Well, you can do that? Yeah. I had no idea. 80. 80? 80. You pull out uh, a wooden fan, similar to the one that was put in. Kind of different, though. It's made of all wood. And um, is he going to, like, use it? There's, like, no breeze. <laughs> like none. So if you want to frustrate someone, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> you can play it again. So I had put in two gold for the pot. Okay. But I want to play again. And I already rolled. Okay. Anybody else joining? Yeah, yeah, Alan. <laughs> yeah, fine. Play for money. <laughs> we can't amongst ourselves. It's true. You guys can play this anytime <laughs> amongst yourselves. True. Yeah, but then we still have the same amount of money, just redistributed. It's not that fun. It's still fun. Yeah, but if it gets in Felix's hands, it'll be lost. Yeah. No fuck is that. 38. Oh, sorry, it's pearls. <laughs> Six. Eight. Ten. Damn it. Damn. Felix, you get to draw. What did you put in? Uh, gold. Okay. Oh, gold, okay, that's fine. Uh, 17. 17. All right. You are given a miniature statuette of a bear. Oh, cool. Um, and as it's placed in your hand, we're going with it. Uh, it comes to life. Sweet. What? What? He has a pocket bear? What? Literally like a <laughs> miniature two. I will give you 200 gold for that. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> You wanted to play for money. I'll <laughs> yeah, take that trade. Anytime. <laughs> Riley. Arquilla. We can eat it. No. Here, here's a rabbit's foot. I pocketed it. <laughs> I stole that already. <laughs> he would have eaten it. <laughs> Wait, so what is it? It's just... It's just a life. It's like it's currently it's currently walking around in a circle on all fours, kind of like your dog does, and then it settles down to like curl up and sleep. <laughs> Okay, I put it on the table. Is it still alive? When, when you put it off your hand, you're like <laughs> into stone. <gasps> that is so cool! You have a pocket bear. <laughs> Let me see something. I grab the bear and and I'll put him on like an item of clothing. Still a bear? St still like made of stone. Still a bear. Okay, still like made of stone. Once it comes into your contact with your flesh, it, the, t the the stone turns to fur, and then it begins like breathing as it's as it's lying there. Just what's your name? I don't know. I don't get it. Oh, oh, that's sad. Is it? Care Bear. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Name the Care Bear. You're naming the bear Care Bear. Name easiest two hundred gold ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I throw him at you when he's a statue form. <laughs> he turns into a statue midair. How do you break him? Where did you get oh, no. like, <laughs> This is such an interesting bug. You see, when people come back from when that one. That's uh, when, people, when people come back from their gathering, yeah. um, sometimes they donate items that they've come across. Hmm. Um, and it's part of the tradition that keeps the concrescence bag. 
perpetually filled. Oh, we I must see. participate to get something. We this must is interesting. Put something to get something. So now, when Circle someone plays, life. they might actually get my longsword. They might get your longsword. They might get ten feet of rope. Yes. They might get the gnomes box. They might get some spices. <laughs> that is interesting. I'd be so happy to pull that. <laughs> <laughs> Drugs! Yay! <laughs> so, so I marked off all the items you had pulled. Had you pulled like a, a repeat number, yeah. it would have been one of your own yeah. items. Oh, that's fun. Nice. Oh. Okay. I like this. So, if you guys want to play last time, if not, we can just move on. At a glance, are any of the uh, monocles on that guy? Fumok. Fumok's chest magical seeming? Uh, give me an arcane check. Did you get the dancing pen, did you? Make no. yeah. Nat 20. Okay, cool. Nat 20. You do notice that uh, there are a number of them which are uh, inscribed with very small, almost imperceptible uh, glyphs. And there's one in particular that dangles from his chest. Mm-hmm. And it's not that the, the ring of it isn't inscribed with a glyph. Rather, the actual glass is inscribed with a glyph. And you can only see it from certain angles. Mm-hmm. So if you, if you like walk by and position yourself just right, and you can see it, and um, just based in the, the the halls and the museums that you are perusing in the Emerald Isles, you recognize this as a monocle of trucing. Uh, I, I will sit there like rolling dice in my hand. I was like, well, it's been plenty fun to play for these fun items, but easy, dude. What do you say we play for something a little more fun? Just you and I. Just you and me. Real quick. Well, what do you have in mind, Felix? Then I am that monocle of yours. It's quite pretty. Which one? And he looks down as just a <laughs> chandelier of monocles. Well, I have one in mind. Do you have any particular attachment to any of them? Quite. Some of these are more valuable than others. Well, there's one in particular I'd like. Is there anything, you'd, anything of mine that you might like that you'd be willing to uh, put that up to bed again, against? Well, that depends. That depends on which one you want. I'm potentially willing to play with any of them. Uh, if the, price is the right. buy-in is tantamount to its value. Uh, tell me which one you want, and I'll tell you yes or no. if it's on the table. Easy enough. If you can afford it. Uh, so I will reach... Right now, I will reach into my... Um, cloak. Where's my heavy ten? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just looking right at it. Uh, um, reach into my cloak and uh, I will pull out two of my diamond dice and say I have an eye on uh, that one here in the middle. And I will I'll hold my two diamond dice in my hands. This one. You've got quite the eye for value, young Felix. I like to think so. Why is that? It's gonna take... This one's quite special. Is it magic? In a sense, yes. Do I recognize it? He puts it on. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> what? I think that's what... True scene can see through illusion. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It can see through anything. Can it see through... Can it see invisibility? Yeah. yeah. It can see... Yeah, so he, he looks it, it up and it She's always pictured your snout as being longer. <laughs> Do I recognize what it is? Give me an arcana check. Uh, 17. 17. <clears throat> you, you recognize that he saw through your illusion. Yeah. You t- perhaps don't know the exact item or I haven't come across it before, but you recognize what it does. Like, pragmatically speaking, yes. you figured it out. That is interesting. That is most useful. Quite. Was this from your gathering? Uh, it was. Quite impressive. Quite impressive. <laughs> so what do you say? Quick game of four holes? No. Two, di- two diamond dice. While valu- valuable monetarily does not hold the same weight 
No, what would? What's this? I would say something of tantamount magical abilities. Pull out Alamir's longsword. No use for a weapon. At least none of that sort. I don't have anything magical. I look at my I'm ring. There. I go, Felix. If I can keep it, it will put up my ring. What was that it for me? <laughs> the joy of winning? High stakes? It's not high stakes. I lose my ability to hide. Oh, I lose my ability to win. Oh. I'll buy it off you. No. <laughs> okay. I can transcribe every spell I know. And? I'll give them to them. Mm. What if I sold you an experience? <laughs> Are you experienced? <laughs> I am quite. Um, what kind? I know 12 spells. I will put my satchel of spice on one side of the table and I keep my hand over a bag that I'm not revealing to everyone else, but like, I'm gonna lift up the top to show him my other drugs <laughs> and put back down and quickly stash away. Was that the fruit? <laughs> yeah. Oh. It was quite strange. <laughs> Sorry, but your narcotic pleasures are, while fun in the end, trivial. Yeah. This is not trivial. That is something else entirely. We can come back. Think about it, Felix. Think about it. We can come back. You don't really have anything. I don't have anything. <laughs> I yeah. have nothing for oh, him. <laughs> yeah. Even nearly equal yeah. value to nothing, this. Yeah. Damn. So you went with it, man. Monica of true scene. It's scary. Yeah. They it's just dope. Nothing value to offer him. <laughs> okay. I finished. What are you doing? Is it tutu? I sewed a dragon costume on my bear. <laughs> Give me a dex check. Says, am I provisioned in this too? Yeah. It's disguise kit. Uh, 20. 20? Yeah. Guys, look, I have a dragon that moves. It is bear. A dragon costume. Can it dance? Care bear. Dance. <laughs> That is crazy. We didn't roll for our quill. Riley, you, you feel like a like a on your shoulders as our quill jumps from Oni's shoulders onto yours. <laughs> and then his snout kind of peers around down from behind your neck and just gets like up into into, into like your palm. Ooh. We are going to eat it. It's tongue plugged up. <laughs> Not going to eat it? Care Bear. Yes. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Care! He's sleeping. Probably. Maybe not anymore, though. <laughs> cool. Great. I paid a lot of money for this. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Here, you can have some of my money. Oh. And you a, like a pack of spices. <laughs> you can sell uh, them. Maybe you should hold on to them. Okay. <laughs> it is safer in your possession. As you guys take a moment to take stock of the things you've won and the things you've lost, yep. doing the mental calculus, so trying to figure out of whether or not you've come ahead or pulled behind through these endeavors. We're going to take a short break. Yeah, and then nice we'll come back to the rest yeah. of yeah. Concrescence. We'll see you in a wee bit. Yep. So, I had so much gold we time. have returned. Yeah, we're bare now. <laughs> During the first half of this session, our characters spent uh, a majority of their time uh, socializing and talking to a number of different people. They talked to uh, 
one of Katasha's uh, caregivers or caretakers of her husband. Uh, they talked a little bit to Diveris, and then they spent a good amount of time doing one of their favorite activities, gambling. Super fun. Gambling away their money, their items, and in return, uh, being rewarded or punished or <laughs> coming out neutral with a handful of sundry and motley items. Yeah, you know, I'm very ahead today. Our Quillo has about 300 Thanks. gold and some weird items. Felix is doing very well <laughs> yeah. for himself. I'm, I'm down 200 and up a dragon bear. A care bear. So I realize I can't really use the, the whistle because I don't have lips like you. Right. Do you... I, I'm, I got it. I'll give this to Agar. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anyone want the contrarian flag? Kinda. I will give it to you. <laughs> you want my sticky oil me. rag? Oh, huh? you want my sticky oil rag? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just a rag and in the center, there's just a lump of like tar that as you as you fold in part of the rag, it like sticks to it and it becomes hard to like pull it off of the tar. I proof. Sticky tar rag. Sticky tar bowl. Wrapped around with rag. Okay. Um in the Let middle of the uh festivities, you watch as there's a swirl of air as a small snow tornado begins to form. And then it sort of wisps off into the air, and you can see that another one forms right behind it, and there are these two uh, swirls of air that are just like passing through uh, the event and are gliding around. Um, You can see them move because they're picking up uh, the the flurries of snow that are still falling. Uh, Occasionally some of the, the the origami dragon that were dropped, and if, so you can sort of tell their location based on the the flurries that they're picking up. And then from that same spot um, begins to form uh, first two columns of sharp edged and crystalline uh, structures. Like what is happening right now? And then it forms into a vaguely humanoid shape, two legs, two arms, large, massive trunk. There's no uh, head. It's just kind of like shoulders, shoulders and arms. And it <clears throat> falls down onto all four. No, and then actually, as this uh, this creature made of pure ice forms, a bunch of uh, the younger adults and older kids like run up to it and they start climbing it and whatnot. Hmm. And then the, the, the creature like... <clears throat> It like moves to one side and its arm becomes a slide. It's, oh, that's cool. And then it kind of <laughs> comes down and forms another slide with its arm. And as people are going halfway down, it like, <laughs> like redirects them. With, <laughs> and they start like <laughs> sledding off into a crowd of people. Oh, people are like running cool. out of the way. As there is now uh, uh, what you recognize to be an elemental made of ice. Two elementals uh, made of air. That's and fucking cool, man. They're swirling around and kind of... Uh, Taking taking uh, the the activities and the festivities up a notch, yeah, kind yeah. of like increasing the intensity of it. Yeah, exactly. People are becoming more and more merry. They're getting drunker and drunker. They're yeah. having food. Um, you can see that a lot of the people are walking around and they're they're having uh, uh, mushrooms that have been made almost into like plates, mm. and then um, have sort of almost like stuffed mushrooms that have ingredients on top, and they're like. <sighs> I am. They're eating the mushrooms. Jumping in on that for sure. Okay, only grabbing some yeah. some mushrooms stuffed with nuts and berries and fruits and some exotic spices. And whoever's around, I'd like to to inquire where I can get a book on the rules of speaking Elvish. <laughs> the rules of speaking Elvish. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I want to speak this language. <laughs> when do um, I get that? <coughs> It is okay, Felix. Take pace, <coughs> pace yourself. <coughs> no. <coughs> oh. Okay then. Uh, Water? No. You think you probably. Uh, <coughs> hmm. Take a second to ponder. I don't know who would have a book like that. A, a translator's book, almost. Yes. Kind of I, I, yes, like Elvish for beginners. Yes. Elvish for idiots. Uh, 
perhaps you can... Uh, As I slosh my drink around a bit. Uh, perhaps you can find uh, uh, Rivendir. It's uh, a local... Rivendir. Yeah, the okay. town. I will ask for Rivendir. Yes. Thank you. Rivendir! <laughs> <laughs> G- just g- give me a... Uh, He's right next to you. Performance check. Performance? See how, many people, see how many people's attention you can find. Eighteen. Okay. I'm gonna get Arquilla to help me out. <laughs> okay. Um, eventually, uh, you, you wander around <laughs> just going, Rivendell! Rivendell! <laughs> um, and there is an individual who turns his attention, he pulls back from out of this group of people, sees you. Rivendell! You! That would be me! Okay. He steps out and he walks towards you. Who do I have the pleasure of? I am Oni. Pleasure to meet you. I'm breathing there. He shakes your hand. He's got um, uh, parted hair that comes down to about uh, shoulder length. He has a solid black tattoo that lines the side of his face, kind of like Zell from Final Fantasy Dope. VIII. Dope. Um, uh, he's wearing a very nice, uh, deep, deep purple blazer mm. with... Uh, gold trim embroidered in pop colors to him and he wears he has a satchel that runs across Two uh, one shoulder, shoulder number one i have a friend i think that would like to meet you and number two okay do you have a book for learning english who sent you in my direction i don't know <laughs> fair enough fair enough i think i did acquire something like that a few years back um, yeah, stop by my nook. Your nook. Where is your nook? Yeah. So he'll give me directions. He gives you directions. Okay, just Stop by. Maybe not today during Conquestance, but no. later. Later. I will remember. Um, now, the first thing, which was my friend who would like to meet you, I think. I think. I point him towards the direction of the nook where Felix was pre-gaming. Yes, look for Halfling. He was the one that did performance with the uh, Oh, yes. Quite yes. impressive, that one. Yes, his name is Felix. I've, I've seen some shows in my time. I've seen... Uh, I've seen... You know what? Between you and me, I think you'd make a great fit for Con- Carnival Mint. Oh, I don't know what that is, but yes. It's a traveling, traveling troupe of performers. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. To kind of pick up people here and there. And, um, then probably... So, well, their performer was good, wasn't... Great. Felix was great. He is great. If, yes. if he can keep up that standard, yes. sure. He is a good performer <laughs> and quite stellar. Uh, powerful, too. So why why should I seek him out? I don't know. He looks flamboyant and he is, too. It is the colors, I think. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. He is a good man, I think. <laughs> yes, he is a good man. <laughs> And I'll turn around and saunter away. <laughs> Alafe, Oni. Alafe! And um, Rivandir. Riva's fine. Riva! I am now proper drunk, cheering, and jovial with everyone. After about 10 minutes. That uh, was like two of Annihilation character, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> After about 10, 10 minutes, uh, Rivandir approaches your group of people. Halfling, my man! Ah, more for the party. What party? <laughs> Where are we taking this? We're taking it on the road. We're taking it to his nook. His... Yeah, my nook! We're doing it in my place! <laughs> says one guy who's really happy, really proud to have won the honor of taking this road show to, back to his place. Right, well, uh, I don't have any instruments on me. No, it's not that kind of party. Well, we're not performing. You certainly will be. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's right. hope. So what are we doing? Uh, Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you I'm, guys ready to get started? I'm coming with you. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> I will You're try to direct the home. whole party yeah. to this guy's nook. Okay. He, oh. Raven there, as he's walking, he casually like throws his arm around just some oh, yes. stranger, <laughs> and he's like, "Try some of this." Unquestioningly, <laughs> just. I love it. Ah, wonderful. Okay. And 
So yeah, uh, I'm assuming the whole, the whole the whole herd is moving. Yeah, they're all they're all, they're all moving in that direction. Thirty people. <laughs> yeah, a significant <laughs> chunk of the party yep. is migrating and disappearing. The party feels like it just got smaller yeah. <laughs> as Felix and his entourage, uh, prurient and inquisitive and curious, adventurous. Yeah, especially right. Elves. Yep. I think I'm probably two buttons down by now. <laughs> <laughs> letting, it, letting it hang out a bit. Real, real deep V. Yeah. <laughs> real deep V. As you go and you make your way. Um, Actually, no, I'm in my t-shirt. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Halfling yeah, above the waist. waist. Yeah. 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 So you make your way to that individual's nook. Um, and for the next couple of hours, you do... All of them. What you do best. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> yep. You perform <laughs> with, on, each, and around all of them. Everyone. <laughs> yep. This is the best night of Felix's life. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> I won a shitload of money gambling. I rocked the house. Yep. And I got an L4 G. Yep. This is the best night of his whole life. <laughs> Roll for S and D. Roll for S. It's fucking worth it. Oh my god. Uh, Riley, anything? Seventy. <laughs> You're fine. Mm, I know where the library is. You've heard wh- uh, whispers and rumors that it's in one of the upper trunks that leaves this basin. I kind of want to go there and see if I find a secret door. You do have the wand for that. I have one turret. I'm not going to go in the door, I just want to like locate a secret door. Do you want to slip away from the party? Yeah. Okay. You slip away from the party. Um, you make your way up one of the rope ladders. And you, as you look down, um, there's the snowfall that is still going. You see the silvery spider webs in between all the branches. You see the floating beads of yellow light that are floating through the air. And it's kind of like a pretty breathtaking scene when you look at it from this perspective. When you look <laughs> down with the snow that's falling past you, Bless you. Okay. with the the silver spider webs that are forming these geometric uh, patterns in between the tree trunks. And the branches. You take a moment to appreciate it, and then you scurry up. <laughs> um, and uh, We're cool with there's there's a branch that leads out. Branch of the library. Branch towards the library, um, and there is there are uh, two branches that have grown out of it, and then been woven together at the top, and they started like started growing together at the bottom, and then there's just Dense, like strangle vine. Almost like canopy, but dense uh, plant life and matter, leaves and vines and just green masses that are covering it as a door and then kind of like a uh, a cover okay. that, that continues around. So you can't like look past. Really much like, like tangle vines. So it's dope. literally just a big door and nothing else like a building. It's just a door. Essentially. And as you uh, arrive there, you do notice that uh, there are two people that are um, on watch. Uh, they're just sitting in stools at the door. And, um, it takes a snowball. And... <laughs> <laughs> they're just fucking around in the snow, like, trying to enjoy it as much as they can, given that they've got work duty and night of compressions. Okay. If I were to, like, jump off, could I get down to where everyone is? Uh, you would have to do a little bit of climbing, um, and then just leap off, like, into the center of the basin. Yeah, you could do that. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, so you, you climb, uh, back up into the branches as it extends upward. There's one that kind of begins to go outward, and you're beginning to near the ceiling of this, this little basin and then you jump and then i cast featherfall you cast featherfall and your plummeting dive turns into a slow graceful 
drift, <laughs> drifting. As you come down... <laughs> as the snowflake drops <laughs> from the top. And you can see as you drop, a bunch of people have like, like, noticed, have seen you, and they start cheering you while, like, yeah! Like, I join. Yes! As you recognize Riley. That's Riley. Like, coming down. Look, Arquillo, look. Diveris sees you and he sends out a puff, a couple puffs of dragons like, and they encircle you. Cool. As you you do the slow skydive downward, and then the dragons as you land, it's a small puff of smoke that shoots up into the air. The dragons spin around you and then just dissipate. Sweet. You can start Fantastic. doing that with lots of people. What? You can start doing that with lots of people. Oh yes, we can do that with lots of people. Why? Because you have feather fall, and I have feather fall, and that affects a lot of people. I think so. Like yes. yes! Free falls? Yes! Anybody want a free fall? You can let us do that? Yes. Let's do it! Yes! Alright, but you gotta sign this waiver. <laughs> <laughs> they don't waiver at all. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I so so you take you take a bunch of people out on uh, rides. There's a few dwarves that are like, oh, I want to do this. Let's, let's, let's do, do this. Make sure none of the other dwarves see you. Oh, fuck them. <laughs> Going anyway. What? And then you begin to take groups of people and jump off, and you, then you cast Featherfall. On the you can and cast Featherfall six times, so I can do it for 60 people? No, that's not it's right. It's five people time. total. <laughs> I thought it was 10. 30. I am not okay, keeping track of my spells, by the way. Sorry, right, you haven't been doing that many spells today. I feel like uh, that's fine. That's why I didn't keep track. Okay. Yeah. So I do it for thirty people. You, you do it, and um, as you're doing it, the wisps, the air elementals, kind of start begin Ooh. flying around you, nice. and they begin whipping up like a small uh, cyclone. Oh, of, nice! Of... So they like go around. And yeah, that, that's so they, cool. They whip it around. So now you guys feel like you're in this tunnel, this wall of like yeah. snow tornado. Oh, that is so <laughs> much fun. Cow. Another cow. <laughs> Have I seen Twister? Yes. Okay. So I, for the last group of five, I will join that group. Oh, you have been jumping with them? No, I've been doing it for them. Okay. And then for the last one, I'll do it myself. Okay. Then you go. Man. Yeah. At the last second, you're, you're like, you're like gently falling, and then you feel like, <laughs> and just claws on your back. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Arquil. What's that face? We're falling really slow. You have to do the wing thing. All right. Yes. She like holds on to you with one hand and like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can use your legs around my arm. And you can open, but it's fine. <laughs> This is like the most trustiest trust fall ever. Yes. You guys you take your groups. Um, you know, between the, the running up and the running down and the finding people and organizing them, um, it takes about an hour and a half or so. Dope. And then you have a bit of downtime afterwards. The Felix, your orgy lasts about <laughs> the night. Hmm. Hours. Ten trust about falls. A couple hours. So you'll be you'll be returning to the party. Did I bond with anyone? Can you bond with anyone? Yes. Is there anyone there that took a key interest in me? Or I in them? I mean... You sound needy. <laughs> I have a connection. I want people in my idea. sex life. Reven Dare is all about trading stories and... Oh, and, easily. Oh, great. Uh, oh. Sharing a pint and all those things. Um, but there are a few others that also bond with you. Yeah, so I, I just... I have this beautiful picture of just a tapestry of naked people with, with Riven Air and I just like sitting there with glasses of wine naked just like talking about the complexities of different like airboats so you guys are just sitting there <laughs> with your glasses of wine <laughs> <a> metaphor <laughs> there, there are a few like uh, grapes off to the side and like about half of your orgy has left to go home clean up continue their night whatever about the other half is just Basking. Basking and indulging <laughs> in the radiance and afterglow of what has made orgies. <laughs> Smells like victory. Um, Good for you, bud. And, and you guys are, are trading uh, cups of wine and 
Reeve and Dare will pour one for you, take a sip of it. Ooh, try this one, try this one. Hands it over to you, and he takes a grape, like, flings it into your mouth, flings it to another person's mouth, try and catches someone else. Um, I'm really glad that went well. (laughs) So, tell me, Mr. Venuste, you're a traveling man. I am. You can tell by some of the techniques you've picked up. (laughs) (laughs) Aren't y'all on a first name basis at this point? (laughs) It's Man. cool. You don't need names. Tell me, uh, did you get that thing on your back? Hmm. Dirty story, actually. Doesn't exactly look like you fell into an iron iron brand or something. Looks pretty deliberate. It's not a pretty sight, is it? It's a uh, stain. I mean, it's a bit distracting from behind, but you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what I tried to. Considering the scenery, I may do with it. <laughs> Dark techniques, uh, yeah, I try to make technique make up for, uh, lame appearance, but I'll tell you, uh, it's a bit existential, but, you know. To summarize the story, what should you steal from? When you, uh, take things blindly, you tend to piss off people who are better at tracking you down, you might think. Uh, so just, you know, even if something is immensely valuable, look first at the person you're stealing from. So you're a bit of a, a con artist with a roguish personality, I take it? Seems fair. I think the term is scoundrel. Only on certain days. Of course. Fair enough. We all got our dirty, dirty laundry. And what's yours? Mine. Better yet. What are your desires? My desires? What do you want out of life? You could say I'm a bit of a... Gatherer, collector, a purveyor of uh, important and rare artifacts. I consider myself a amateur, soon-to-be expert. Let's say historian of artifacts. Soon-to-be expert. Huh. I've gone out, did the first half of my gathering, and uh, came back for a little R and R. Um, and I'll be leaving to do the second half of my gathering when the time strikes me. Hmm. And tell me, if you could have anything, how would your second gathering go? What do you desire the most in the world? Honestly? That which is forbidden. Oh, do tell my friend that I hand him another <laughs> glass of wine. It's a big, Let's go somewhere a little more private. Drink. <laughs> private? What can be more private than a room full of naked people? There's nothing private that... No private need be brought about that. There's... Everyone's privates are out! <laughs> There's nothing private about that. I seek intimacy. I want to know your secrets. Is there something more intimate than a group of naked people? Immensely. Alright. A room with just one naked person. People do. He puts on his blazer, now like not over his right. shirt, just kind of over his fair skin, <laughs> pulls up his trousers. Let's go for a walk. We can walk and talk. Beautiful. Um Well, don't know if I should be telling you this, but you know. Definitely shouldn't. I like to be t- taken no. always up for a, a risk. But um There's a land that's forbidden for elves. It's called Eslin. It's on the, the eastern shores of the continent, between uh, Morden and Gerontic. It's a, a place of ruins. Some say there was a uh, temple there. A city filled with elves, filled with many races. Something happened. The place was destroyed. Now it's just lost in pure ruins and um, uh, elves are forbidden from going there. Hmm. At least at least the elves from Vintar. Um, How do they know where you're from? 
it's not that the the place itself is in ruins. It's a uh, it's, it's along the shore, and it's just empty, destroyed buildings of once temples, once uh, dwellings, residences. And but it looks like part of the city, from what I've been told, it looks like part of the city has been lost. And it's not that the denizens of Eslin are forbidding us from entering. It's that the the people of Vintar, the higher ups, when we go out on our gathering, they make sure to advise us of certain rules and protocols that we're involved in, how to deal with the hobgoblins and the pierced with mountains, all those things. But one of the tenets that they discuss is uh, staying away from Esalen. Hmm. They fear that there's a stain that can mark one's soul that will potentially... You don't want to bring that back here. But think about it. Think of an abandoned city. Ancient, old, untrodden, unexplored. Think of the treasures. This must be a trove of knowledge, artifacts, knowledge, lore. Who knows what other mysteries might be there. Can't help but want to visit. I don't know if I will. I don't know how much I'm going to push my luck, but... Hmm. I'm fingering. So, Mr. Venuste, what is it that you desire most? I should have my special message. He starts to laugh but then stops and goes, oh, you're you're serious about this. Entirely. Maybe later in life, but I've got too much going for me right now. I suppose that's fair. I'm gonna go another round, just you and me. Lead the way. Beautiful. I finished my glass of wine and I take him to a private room. Okay. <laughs> Good for you, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm jovial with everyone. Just trying to... I'm... Did you ever join the party? No, I forgot to. <laughs> Drunk Oni <laughs> totally convenient. forgot to. Well, when he saw Riley falling, that just <laughs> totally took things in a different direction. So, yeah, I'm just... Whatever the biggest group of people is, Oni is joining them and trying to have the most possible fun that he can. Um, Telling stories, dancing, anything. Right now, there's there's a group of people uh, beside the two elves the twins that performed uh, the first uh, performance of the night, the, the acrobatic performance. Um, and you see they're both skinny uh, ones, so they're not, um, they're identical twins, but they have like different haircuts and they're adorned differently so you can tell them apart. One has right. like short layered hair, the other one has sort of longer hair that's been braided. Uh, real nice, but other than that, their face facial features are, are pretty uh, distinct, and they're they're um, they're regaling their their audience with stories, and then every once in a while they'll, they'll bust out a, like a, a trick, they'll do a backflip, yeah. they'll, they'll do they'll do something to keep people entertained. And around uh, the crescent shaped audience that is gathered, uh, you're kind of in the back, and you, you hear a few people muttering. And, uh, you th- Twins, they're so special. Do you think they're more special than the others? Ah, who cares? It's not a competition. All twins are special. And they're just people talking. Yeah, I mean, sure. I'll, I'll join them. I don't have anything particular to say or do. Okay. I guess at some point, if I find Arquillo or uh, Riley, I'll just kind of take a seat next to them and say, this, this type of thing, this is what life is about. This peaceful celebration, being with family and friends, oh. jovial times, oh. embracing life the best way possible. You want to live here? No, not here. I want to bring this to Reglothia. Oh. That's good. 
pretty hard. That's what this is. I want to live here. I mean, I'll help you, but it's gonna be hard. Yes, it will. It will be worth it, though. Imagine a celebration like this. What with Kevin? You know, I love you. When he becomes drunk, nostalgic. <laughs> yes. It will be wonderful. Have I told you that you remind me of my sister? Is she a dragonborn? Mm-hmm. No, that's cool. Yes, she was delightful. She was always helping me in, in when I was trying to study. She was not good at it, but she would help me all the time. It was fun. Why do you keep... Was, like, was you haven't seen her for a while, so, like, she was because, you know, it's just been a long time? No. No. My parents and my sister, they died. Are you sure? Yes. I saw their corpses. It was not good. My brothers don't know where they are. One is fighting the civil war. He may be dead. I don't know. The other one, he was more elusive. Sort of like um, uh, like he was very secretive. He was doing his own thing, never really telling us anything specific. Always open language. You know what I mean? I never knew what he was doing, but he was always doing something. Always, um, I think the phrase is in the shadows. Oh. Yes. So I don't know what he's doing or what he is or much about him, Zolo. But yeah. hopefully he is alive as well. I mean, at least you had brothers and sisters, right? Yes. Yes. I have all kinds of family. I have them. I have you. Aquilo, I have Karen. Yes. Now the bear, Care Bear. I mean, I don't know, he's no offense that great. He's cute. Yes. Like it's currently sleeping in your paw and moves its shoulder blades as you pet it while it's sleeping. Do you think we need to feed him? Yes. Arquillo! Yeah? Do you want any food? Sure. Is it real food? He ruffles, rifles through one of his pouches, he pulls out what looks to be like a piece of dry bark. Hair. Bears are omnivores. I take the dried bark and I do the like... thing. Mmm! <laughs> uh -oh. His perception is plus zero, I think. It's a seven. Make a slight hand check. <laughs> yes, it is plus zero. Oh, no. Wow. Six. <laughs> Riley, you missed! <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty... He goes back into the snow and picks it up. <laughs> pretty drunk, Here. little man. Oh, thank you. All soggy and snowy now. Yeah. Yeah. Basically just bit into a cinnamon stick. <laughs> so good. Really strong cinnamon. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Riley, you're not supposed to eat so much at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I did wrong. You should have told me. You should have told me first. <laughs> that's true. You'll learn. You'll learn. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. This is what you guys are having about. this conversation. A bit of <laughs> Riley's kind of like, <laughs> trying to get the sour taste. And you Not the sour taste, but the very intense and potent taste out of her mouth. Just did the and cinnamon challenge. The absolute best magic. It comes from you. Felix, you've returned to the festivities. Fair. It doesn't come from me. Is there, yes, it does. Is there any final things you want to do? Hey, did we see Felix walking when we were out here? Jumping or anything? I mean, you see him coming back. You, you, you saw him with a group of people. Then you saw a group of people gone with Felix was in sight and then you saw him return. You can pretty much figure out something happened. Felix! Hello. Welcome, friend. Where did have... you go? What do you... You're supposed to come join us. Oh. Join you You're right. I had, a, I had a wonderful night. I apologize. And you wouldn't believe how wonderful my night's been. The elf was pretty, like, suave. Yeah, he was. You're ready to come with us? He's, he's he part of ways from you at this point. 
Yeah. He's really good looking. Huge. He's going to get me a book on Why does that Elvish. good? You're so small. I know. Just, it's just wonderful. Aliyah, rated R, y'all. <laughs> yes. In case you didn't know. It's, yeah, it's just, it's massive. That doesn't work. Oh, it does. I, I have an idea. Does. I'm pretty drunk. Yes. I like where this is going. It's not fair. It's just... Go on. Do you know Featherfall? I don't. We did. You should learn it. We used it. Then, then you can jump up really high while you're fucking. Or just get really high and be fucking. You but no! All of those oh things together. Think about how romantic it would be. Fly fucking. So romance is very different. Fucking is very fun. Romance is very intimate. Romance takes so much effort, yes. so much work. Yes. Okay. What the I don't care. You're offering either. me different experiences. No, I'm giving you ideas. Yes. It is inventive. Flying's fun. Because Why she's creative. Be Relax. Yeah, stop by. Mile high, Cloud. Arquillo! <laughs> How do you even know what that means? Are we more than a mile off the ground already? I heard a few they people say it. <laughs> okay. Are we a mile off the ground? In the tree? We're pretty fucking high, but I don't know about a mile. <laughs> But yes, we were actually using feather fall with a bunch of people. We'd like go up and then they would jump and then we would cast and they would fall slowly. It was it's a lot of fun. fun. That's fun. Yes. I had a lot more fun. I got very fun. distracted by that. I don't think you did because you just said he was really big and you're really small and that doesn't sound like that. Yeah, that works really well for me. Okay. I don't know what you're really talking about to be honest. Because you weren't there. No. You missed out on the best part of the whole party. I don't. I had a lot of fun. We had more. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Hey guys. Yes. Yeah. Follow me. Okay. He just puts his hand up, waiting for someone to take his hand. I'll take the hand. Okay. <laughs> Mostly for support. There's, there's, there's the basin, right? And there's branches of trees. That are extending upwards, but they, they kind of they dip low, so there's there's um small uh, small yews that you can just like walk right up to, and uh, Arquillo takes you to the edge, and he like poof, sits right down on the edge. He starts like kicking his feet on the edge. Hi. Come on, the sun's gonna rise. Mm-hmm. So you all sit down next to him, and. Couple people from the back of the party turn to look, and off in the distance you can see the yellows, the purples, the blues, the oranges. The the the, the, the transition of colors as it goes from darkness into daylight. The sun starts to creep over the horizon. There's still snow falling from you, and as you guys are like swinging your legs over the edge, there's snow that. <laughs> falls off and just begins to float downwards. You guys look down. For a moment, you look off to your left. You see a couple of those fires burning from the veil, from where you imagine Agar and Sebastian to be. And this group of people looking at you, silhouettes in the outline of a large, uh, black-skinned tiefling of a smaller human, of a small kobold, of an equally sized <laughs> half length, and they see the silhouette. And they see the colors off in the distance. They take a moment to appreciate you guys. And they go back to continuing to celebrate compressence. And that's what we're going to call it for tonight. Yeah. So, yes. that was our two part holiday episode. Nice. We hope you enjoyed it. Next week we'll be back to action, back to our regular uh, scheduled I gotta program. Get a book. I gotta get a library pass. That's, that's my kind of session. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see what happens post-holiday. Post-coitus. Holy day! <laughs>
Thank you for joining us. We hope you had a good holiday. A merry we look Christmas forward to all. Seeing you all next time. Adios, y'all.